Hey everyone, so I'm back again with another video. This time around, I have some more DVD pickups to show you guys. Um, I got a couple things that I've actually been looking for for some time. Um, and a couple of movies that are actually some of my favorites, uh, even though they are a little bit more adult-oriented. Uh, not to say pornographic, but definitely not for a young audience. Uh, but I'm going to start out with the most kid-friendly, I suppose, of all of it. Um, this uh, DVD here is part of a TV show. It's based on a video game for the Sega Dreamcast. And I had managed to find one of the DVDs uh, several months ago, actually. Um, let's see now. About four or five months ago. And I happened to find the exact same one again today at a Salvation Army um, but I looked around, and they had one other one that was part of this, uh, series, and it's Power Stone. This one here is called Dangerous Journeys, and it features five episodes from the series. Um, which five exactly? I don't know. Uh, but it's five more episodes to the series, and the other one that I had was apparently the last few episodes of the series. So, um, well, at least I get a couple more episodes, uh, added to the series. Uh, next up, I went to the Goodwill, uh, the Goodwill that I don't usually go to because it's out of the way and they usually don't have anything that's worthwhile. Um, I found this though, uh, they had a whole bunch of TV shows there, brand new, still sealed, um, but a lot of them were marked for like $10 or more and I just, I didn't want to bother with any of that. But I found this one here, I got it for 6 bucks. um... And it was the first season of this TV show, and I actually liked this TV show growing up. I still uh, really like this TV show, um, even though I like the later seasons more than the uh, first or second season of this TV show. I still thought I'd grab it, considering I went all the way out there and I didn't really find much. It's uh, season one of Roseanne, and it's brand new. Originally priced for $29.99. And then reduced to twenty four ninety nine at some store many 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 years ago. <laughs> um, next up, I went to where did I get these? I got these from a Value Village that I don't usually go to. Um, it was on my way home, so I thought, why not? I'll I'll go for it. Um, and I went in there uh, and. Every so often I do find stuff there, and this time around I found an NES, just the system, no controllers, no cables, no nothing, um, and it was really orange, and they wanted $29.99 for it, and that was just terrible, and they had a copy of Super Mario Bros. Duck Hunt, and that was $5.99, again, pretty bad, so I went over to the DVDs, and I dropped this one on the ground. Um, I went over to the DVDs, and I didn't find much there that was interesting until I saw this one movie, one of my favorites from the late 90s, actually. It might be even early 2000s. Nope, 99. Um, I actually watched this movie back in, like, 2000, 2001. I was, like, 10 years old at the time. Uh, and... <laughs> It was very inappropriate to watch at that age, but I didn't really uh, uh, get most of what was going on. Plus, it was edited for TV, so I didn't really see the worst of it. Uh, it's Cruel Intentions uh, with Sarah Michelle Gellar, Ryan Phillippe, and Reese Witherspoon. And basically, for those of you that don't know, this movie is about a pair of step-siblings. That's uh, Ryan Phillippe and uh, Sarah Michelle Gellar. And uh, they have this bet where if he uh, seduces Reese Witherspoon, uh, he gets oh, what's it called? Uh, he gets to I guess I'll put it bluntly have sex with her uh, with uh, Sarah Michelle Gellar. But if she wins, she gets his classic sports car, some nonsense like that. Um, it's a pretty good movie, and I don't want to give away too much, but it is. A very sexual movie, and uh, this one came previously viewed from Blockbuster. <laughs> kind of strange, uh, 
But yeah, I got that at the Value Village for two ninety nine. Um, next up at the same Value Village, I found this DVD here, completely brand new. Uh, the only thing that sucks about this that I noticed after I had actually paid for it, it says that this R-rated version contains material different from the original unrated theatrical version. So I do not know what the difference is going to be. Uh, between this and the full unrated uh, version that I've seen. Um, I've previously seen the Criterion version on Blu-ray of this movie, um, and I've also watched it several times back when it came out, uh, and a few years after that. Uh, it's a very thought-provoking and interesting movie, kind of sad at the end, but it's just sort of bluntly about life, the good stuff, the bad stuff, that kind of uh, nonsense. Uh, it's called Itu Mama Tembien. Sorry if I butchered that. Uh, but it's basically a trip. Uh, it's about a trip that these three people take. Uh, these two friends and the one guy is like cousin through marriage. Um, and uh, there's a whole bunch of uh, interesting moments and even twists and stuff like that. Uh, very graphic as well. Um, just pretty realistic, but also uh, kind of has its uh, moments of sort of fantasy in there as well. Um, I really like this movie, and it stars Maribel Verdu. Sorry, again, if I get these names wrong. Uh, Gael Garcia Bernal and Diego Luna. Uh, Gael Garcia Bernal has been in a couple movies that I like, uh, including Blindness, one of my favorite movies. Uh, but Maribel Verdu... I can't think of what else she's been in. I think she was in Pan's Labyrinth. Uh, she might have played one of like the maids or something, but I don't quite remember. And Diego Luna, I don't remember what else he's been in. But uh, if you can check out this movie uh, by any means, please go ahead and watch it. If you are under 18, though, I mean, I can't really stop you, but it's not appropriate for younger people. Uh, now, the last uh, DVD that I found is a full uh, series of a TV show, actually, from when I was a kid. I absolutely loved the show growing up. Um, it originally started airing, well, when I was, like, three, four years old. Um, and I didn't catch it until a couple of years later when they played reruns of it again. Um, and then it played uh, on reruns throughout the 2000s. Um, I think the last time I saw it on TV was like 2011, 2012, uh, but I'm very happy to own this on DVD. It is the complete series of The Critic. Um, this is one of those uh, early 90s WB cartoon shows that uh, it was just, it, it was one of my favorite shows as a kid, and it's basically parodying um, Hollywood movies and uh, stuff like that pretty much just, like, Hollywood culture, and, uh, I really like this show, and it even had a crossover with The Simpsons, uh, which was kind of strange, but I enjoyed that episode of The Simpsons as well, um, and I don't remember right now, because it's been some years since I've watched it, but I think maybe it might have crossed over with, uh, Pinky and the Brain and the Animaniacs and, uh, those shows as well, um, but I honestly do not remember at the time being, but it did play uh, around the same time as those shows as well. Uh, anyways, it's uh, nine minutes now. Um, as always, leave comments in the comment section below. Anything you'd like to say, comments, questions, suggestions, ideas, anything at all, and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Uh, check out my Facebook, Twitter, and website. They're all linked in the description below. Um, if you want me to go further into depth uh, about these uh, TV shows or movies, again, you can let me know that as well. Um, and, uh, I guess that's it. See ya.